how much of a miss is that really, liability protections and a state as well as local government aid? How much, how much of a miss is it? I mean, it, it, it's important, I mean, clearly for, for certain businesses. But again, in the United States, you can go to a restaurant, you can go to a store and get stuff, and they've been open and they've been operating. And so I think that just undermines the need. You know, on the state and local government issue, I think what you've also seen is that their revenue numbers have come in for 2020 and they haven't been as bad as, as, as was necessary, as was expected. And so this is seen as less necessary than it once was. So, I mean, it's a big deal in the, in the extent that they're showing flexibilities that they didn't have for a number of months. But I think ultimately both of these things have been seen as a little less essential than they once were. Right. The package also seems uh, clear to include, uh, you know, $300 per week of unemployment benefits, which is a sharp cut from the previous $600 a week that was going out uh, to more than 10 million people who've lost jobs in America. Uh, again, what does the path ahead look like for that kind of support for the jobs market to come through to support uh, essentially uh, those who are unemployed right now? Right. Well, remember that this uh, unemployment insurance that you're talking about, this is on top of what all of the states are already providing. I mean, this is not the only thing that people receive when they uh, when they lose their job. And so I think that's an important point. And I also think it's important to note that um, the parties are going to come together and probably provide stimulus checks, which will make up some of that difference for for a lot of people. And you know, I think there's some really interesting dynamics emerging here. I mentioned already, you know, Senator McConnell, the power that he's wielding, that's going to be something to look for in the years ahead. But also uh, look at um, what's happening here on the stimulus checks. You have Josh Hawley, one of the most conservative Republicans, teaming up with Bernie Sanders. And so I do think you could see a reshuffling of some of these dynamics moving forward. Interesting things like that happening. And ultimately, also what I'm going to predict in 2021 is that we're going to be talking less about emergency COVID relief and things like that and talking more about big picture infrastructure spending. Um, and, and that really is what the Democrats want to do is they want to come in and talk about an economic revitalization package. And so I think they're, they're looking beyond this in some respects, um, not to say that these problems aren't important in the short term.